Hello everyone and welcome back. So the future of the Rainbow Six franchise is pretty unclear. It seems like Ubisoft want the future of Rainbow Six to stick around the themes of the already established operators in Rainbow Six Siege, using the same operators in a spin-off game known as Rainbow Six Extraction and in the upcoming Rainbow Six Mobile. Now Siege has been a smash hit game in the gaming community, breaking records for Ubisoft and being one of the longest lasting online shooters to still get consistent updates. And to many people, including myself, Rainbow Six Siege was the first time I ever experienced a Rainbow Six product. But as I'm sure all of you guys may know, this isn't the first Rainbow Six game, there was actually many in the past. And specifically two Rainbow Six games which I hear people talk about the most is Rainbow Six Vegas and Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Even when I talk to people who aren't really familiar with Siege and have never played it, they always bring up how they used to play the old Vegas games back when they were younger. So for a lot of people, Rainbow Six Vegas is what they think of first when they think of the Rainbow Six franchise. And of course, that can be thanked to the narrative driven campaign that the game had, but one of the things I hear people talk about most when they remember on the old Rainbow Six games, especially Vegas, is the multiplayer experience. Many people saying that it felt like a fresh take on FPS shooters. And so, with two successful games, a lot of the community were waiting for what was next for the Rainbow Six franchise, and that was in 2011, five years after Vegas 2 released, there was the announcement of the next game, Rainbow Six Patriots, and it seemed like it was going to be a true successor to the Vegas franchise, bringing a fully fledged campaign, and of course, a Vegas style multiplayer mode. And now after its initial announcement, not much was heard about it again until E3 2013, where Ubisoft said that the game is still in development. However, just a year later, it was announced that the game was scrapped, and instead, a new game, Rainbow Six Siege, was announced. Now, Siege, looking back on it, is one of the best financial decisions Ubisoft ever made, and to this day, we have one of the best shooters. But at the time, you had many Vegas fans waiting for a next narrative driven game with a Vegas style multiplayer to then getting Patriots cancelled and now having a game which has no campaign and the multiplayer is now more slower paced, tactical and there's no response. And now that doesn't mean that Siege failed, it is still massive to this day and of course that doesn't mean the people who enjoyed Vegas didn't enjoy Siege. But when you do change a franchise around between games you are of course at risk of losing some players and some fans of the franchise. And now taking a look at today it doesn't seem like we'll ever go back to the formula which Vegas had. For starters, the operators that have been established in Siege will seemingly be the main characters of the Rainbow Six franchise going forward, at least in Ubisoft's case. And now when it comes to successors to Siege, we've also got games like Rainbow Six Extraction, which is quite far from the usual Rainbow Six formula, and we can just assume that whatever comes next will include the operators which have been established in Siege. So even if we do get another narrative driven game like Vegas, there's still going to be that multiplayer mode which probably won't come along because they want the main multiplayer game for the Rainbow Six franchise to be Siege. So there's actually quite a simple compromise that can be made here which is already in Siege and can bring a massive player base to Siege not even focusing on the main mode. And that is the TDM mode in Siege itself. As it currently stands I think the TDM mode is quite lackluster. To me it's a mode which is there to only serve as an aim trainer for the main modes itself. It's already on existing Siege maps so the flow is is not good at all. Granted, we do have a new TDM map known as Close Quarter, but I don't even think that map's that good if I'm going to be honest. And I'll explain as to why I don't think that map's good and how they can fix it in a very simple way. But TDM is just very lackluster and it feels thrown together right now, especially with like impact grenades, because within the first minute, all the walls on the map are open and you can just get shot from so many different angles and it just becomes a game of who gets the best spawn point. And what I'm about to explain is how to make TDM a thousand times better, make it be its own standout mode which can compete with rank and doesn't just have to be a secondary mode for aim training, and in doing so will hopefully attract a full audience for this mode, helping the Siege player base itself, but also carrying on the legacy which old Rainbow Six multiplayers had. Firstly, let's start by taking a look at the operators. Let people just pick whatever operator they want for how they look, so if you like, you know, if you like Tachanka for example and you want to run the Unicorn skin, let them pick Tachanka, but don't limit it to Tachanka's weapons. Rather, implement a class-based system like it is in Call of Duty, where you can make your own class, and in that, you have the option to pick off every weapon in the game, so you have access to ARs, SMGs, shotguns for example, and of course, all these weapons will have access to all your skins which you've earned throughout Siege and can be used in the main Siege mode or in this TDM mode. Make everyone the same speed as well, there should be no operator advantages in this mode, everyone should be fair and it should come down to gun skill. Secondly, and this might be the hot take out of all of this honestly, is remove destruction from 
from TDM. I honestly believe that the way that C channels destruction works in the main mode and it works incredibly. Someone's on the other side of the wall, you open up the wall and you kill them. But then, give or take a minute later, the round's over and everything resets for the next round. But like it is in current TDM, once that wall's open, it's open for the entire rest of the TDM match. And so, you get it when you're a minute into the round, every single wall on the map's open and there's not really any cover and it's just a massive line of sight in an open map. You should still be able to shoot people through walls and get wall bangs, I think that works perfectly fine in TDM, but I think the whole breach ability of walls and changing how the map works in a TDM map doesn't really work the same way it does in the no respawn mode of normal siege. And that is why also I feel like the close quarter map, which we were talking about earlier, would benefit from that as well, is just remove destruction from it. And on the topic of maps, I feel like one of the reasons TDM doesn't really work well in siege is because the maps themselves aren't made for TDM. Only one of them are and the rest of them are normal siege maps, and they just don't have that same TDM flow like they should. And of course, you can't just remove all the maps and leave only one map in the pool, so start remastering a bunch of the old Vegas maps and implement them into TDM. They've actually technically already done this in Siege because the Sugar Fright event, which had the Sugar Fright map, that map itself is actually not only a remake, but a redesign of the Rainbow Six Vegas 2 map known as Streets. The layout is actually the same, the only difference is obviously a Sugar Fright is themed around like Halloween candy and puppets. But if they actually just take the Sugar Fright map, remove all the Halloween aspect for it and make it look like the normal version of Streets, they could easily implement this into TDM and it would be a good map because in the version in Sugar Fright as well, that has no destruction in it. And I thought that worked perfectly well in the Sugar Fright event, which was a TDM kill confirmed event before we actually got the TDM mode. And I just really enjoyed the lack of destruction that was in it. And the next is to add progression for operators and weapons. At 500 kills in TDM, you could get a special headgear for the operator you're playing. They could also implement this in the main siege mode itself as well. So both TDM and the main siege mode could have both exclusive cosmetics to their progressions. And the final major point I'm going to point out here is multiple game modes. So at this point, you'll have remastered Rainbow Six Vegas maps, you'll have some brand new maps, which hopefully don't have the same level of destruction that normal siege maps do. You'll have a rework to the operators picked in TDM, meaning that you can use any gun with them. You'll have a progression system in the game, which has a reason to grind for. And finally, you can have separate modes like kill confirmed, gun game, domination. You can now have TDM standing as its own fully fledged mode, and it can have its own audience, meaning that Rainbow Six Siege is not only just sustained as the main siege game that we have right now, but it's now also got that separate audience which are more TDM and arcade shooter based. And I know all of you guys were probably thinking, why not just make a separate game at this point, but I don't really see why you'd want to completely stretch the audience and player base of your game across two separate games, when you can just add this to Siege, increase the player base because you'll have people coming for TDM, and it also adds more diversity for people who are playing the main mode and maybe get a bit tired of it, and it'll just be another way to keep Siege at the forefront of gaming and help it have that strong base. Because let's be brutally honest, the main core gameplay of Siege, as popular it is and as fun as it is, is quite a niche playstyle. The majority of FPS players enjoy more arcade shooters like Call of Duty, and by doing these changes to TDM, the mode itself will become attractive to non-main Siege players rather than just a warm-up for people who are just a way to go play ranked. Because I've never heard the story of anyone picking up Rainbow Six Siege purely to play the TDM mode. So yes, I know all of this is more easier said than done, I'm not a developer, I'm not going to act like this is easy, but in my perfect world, this is what TDM would be. So guys, what do you think about my proposed change to TDM? Do you think it's good? Would you enjoy that? I know for sure that I would absolutely love it. Drill in your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you did enjoy, dislike if you did not. Just catch you all later. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.